nice this morning.
welcome Matt this way to the way. Um, welcome to Matt's service of Holy Communion on the third Sunday of Trinity. Um, my name is Cleffy and it's lovely to welcome everyone here in the church and those joining us online as well. Um, this morning I'm very pleased to welcome Mitchell Brooks, who's an all around trained theologian at Trinity Church of Bristol and is here on placement at St John's for a couple of weeks and he'll be reading the gospel and giving the sermon this morning. So welcome it to you. Uh, collect and readings for the third Sunday of the Trinity on page 160-360 and our service begins on page 237. Let us pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all my soul, and with all my mind, and with all my strength. This is the first commandment, and the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy upon us, and write the Lord in thy laws in our hearts. Almighty and everlasting God, we are taught by thy holy word that the hearts of kings are in thy rule and governance, and that thou dost dispose and return them as it seemeth best to thy godly wisdom. We humbly beseech thee so to dispose and govern the hearts of Elizabeth thy servant, our Queen and Governor, that in all her thoughts, words, and works she may ever seek thy honour and glory. And study to preserve thy people committed to her charge in wealth, peace, and godliness. Grant this, O merciful Father, for thy dear Son's sake, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And the collect for the third Sunday of the Trinity. O Lord, we beseech thee mercifully to hear us. And grant that we, to whom thou hast given an heart of desire to pray, may by thy mighty aid be defended and comforted in all dangers and adversities. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Holy Gospel is written in the 15th chapter of Luke, beginning at the first verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. Then drew near unto him all the publican. 
offerings and the sinners brought to hear him. And the Pharisees and the scribes heard him say, This man was seen the sinners, and eat it with them. And he spake this parable unto them, saying, What man of you having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, does not leave the ninety nine in the wilderness, and go after that which is lost until he find it? And when he hath found it, he lay it on his shoulders, rejoicing. And when he cometh home, he calleth together his friends and neighbours, saying unto them, Rejoice with me, for I have found my sheep which was lost. I say unto you, that likewise joy shall be in heaven over one sinner that repenteth, more than over ninety and nine just persons, which need no repentance. Eva, what woman having ten pieces of silver, if she lose one thief or like a candle, and sweep the house, and seek diligently until she find it? And when she hath found it, she calleth her friends and her neighbours together, saying, Rejoice with me, for I have found the peace which I have lost. Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. Here is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, O Christ. I am the Lord, and born of God, the Father of my Son, the Maker of heaven and earth, and the poor came to this world and the end of this world. And in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all the worlds, God of the world, light of the world, very God of the very God, begotten of men, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things are made, he will for us men the hand of salvation in down and in heaven, and was inspired by the Holy Ghost. Virgin Mary, and was made a man, and was crucified also for us on the Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures, and descended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again in the glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and Giver of life, who is the to the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who is saved by the prophets. And I believe in one Catholic and Apostolic Church. I acknowledge my baptism for the remission of sins, and I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. I wonder what more advice for lost sheep might look like. Seven steps for a safe return to the fold. Work hard, look inside yourself, dig deep, find your own resources and find your way home. I was reading just this week uh, an article about a rise in young people in what is termed lame character syndrome, a condition in which people find themselves considering themselves to be the main character and their life to be a film about them. Everyone else is the supporting cast in the story of their life and achievements. But in these stories of Jesus, it is not the sheep or the coin doing the searching, but the shepherd and the woman. The sheep wanders away, but its salvation is not so much in its finding as in its being found. Jesus tells us it is not just us doing the searching, but God. We have a God who comes to find his lost sheep. The message is not that we work faster, try harder, think smarter, do better, but we will solve all our problems and find our own way back to the God for whom we wanted. The message is that God will find us and bring us home back to himself. All we need to do is to repent, literally to turn around, to turn back to the God who comes to find us. And the 
words of life we saw in 1 Peter, to humble ourselves, not to seek to solve all of our own problems, but to cast them onto Him. Are we trying to find our own way through life? Or will we instead turn to the God who comes to find us and hear that great rejoicing? Will we turn to the great shepherd who has come to find us in Jesus and bring us back to himself? Amen. Thank you, Rich, for that word and for reminding us that it's God who seeks and finds us and not what we do when we go into them. Thank you. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Lay not up for yourselves treasure upon the earth, where the rust and moth doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither rust nor moth doth corrupt and where thieves do not break through and steal. And let us thank God for the offering. Father God, thank you for the gifts that will be given this morning and for those given by other means. Use them for the relief of need and for the growth of your kingdom. In Jesus' name, Amen. <laughs> Pray for the homestead of Christ Church, Millicent here in Ann. Almighty and ever living God, who by thy holy apostle has called us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks to all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to receive these our prayers which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal church with the spirit of truth unity and concord, and grant that all they that do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word, and live in unity and godly love. We beseech thee also to save and defend all Christian kings, princes, and governors, and especially thy servant Elizabeth our Queen, that under her we may be godly and quietly governed, and grant unto her whole counsel and to all that are put in authority under her, that they may truly and impartially administer justice, to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may both by their life and doctrine set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacrament. And to all thy people, give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. And we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succor all them who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. And we also bless thy holy name for all thy servants departed this month in thy faith and fear, beseeching thee to give us grace so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Grant this, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our own mediator and advocate. Amen.
you that truly and earnestly repent you of your sins and are in love and chance with your neighbours and intend to lead a new life following the commandments of God and walking from henceforth in his holy ways, draw near with faith. And take this holy sacrament as your comfort, and make your humble confession to Almighty God, saying together with me, Almighty God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge the vile and unfold sins and weakness, which we from time to time have produced and have proved by cruel, word and deed, against thy divine majesty.
and in his holy gospel, demand us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body and blood, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you, do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this, for this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. Do this as often as you shall drink it, in remembrance of me. Amen. Savior Christ has commanded and taught us, we are born to say, Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that bless us against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy 